how's it going guys welcome back to my channel it's Riley here and I am bringing you guys another Madden 19 video here today and today it is pertaining to another simulation or if you want to call it a what if video and today we have a big one that actually crossed my mind just before making this video I thought of it and I instantly hopped on because I thought it'd be really interesting to see how it panned out and it's actually what if Carson Wentz and Jared Goff were flipped in the draft. Now, most of you guys know in that draft class, the number one overall pick was by the Los Angeles Rams, and they did pick Jared Goff with the number one overall pick, and the number two overall pick was by the Eagles, and they took Carson Wentz. But I thought of the idea of what if Carson Wentz actually went number one overall and was drafted to the LA Rams. So I did put that thought into action. I made the trade, and here it is. Carson Wentz is now the starting quarterback of the Los Angeles Rams. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Eagles are a really good team, but the duo of Carson Wentz and Todd Gurley, it scares me. That is insane. Imagine if we got to see that in person. I mean, don't get me wrong either, Jared Goff is a really good quarterback, and I'm sure he's going to get better as time goes along. But Carson Wentz obviously progressed a lot faster than Jared Goff did, and I think it's going to be really interesting to see how this pans out, to see how the Rams do with Carson Wentz, and I will also be checking in to see how the Eagles do with Jared Goff. So I don't think we're going to waste any time. We're probably going to do three to five seasons with this trade and see how it pans out who does better Jared Goff or Carson Wentz and who does better between the Eagles and Rams with this switch of quarterbacks so we are going to simulate to the end of season number one right away and we're going to see where the two teams are at all right so after the first year the Los Angeles Rams have gone 11 and 5 as we can see right here and we have a game in the divisional round of the playoffs against the Atlanta Falcons and it is home but before we get started we are going to check the standings to see if the Eagles actually made the playoffs actually no I'm going to check I'm going to check the playoff games okay we are at the divisional round of the playoffs and the Eagles are not in it I'm going to check the wild card round and they were not in that either so the Eagles led by Jared Goff did not make the playoffs at all after their Super Bowl season. Wow, now I'm going to go check their record to see if they were even close to making the playoffs. They finished with a record of 9-7 and seven on the year. Wow, so the defending champion, wow, so the defending champion, Philadelphia Eagles, without their starting quarterback, Carson Wentz, did not even make the playoffs the following year. That's pretty crazy that that makes that much of a difference where Jared Goff cannot lead that team to the playoffs. I'm going to check the stats real quick just to see how Jared Goff and Carson Wentz did. And looking at Carson Wentz's stats, he threw for just under 4,000 total yards, 32 touchdowns to 11 picks, 64% completion, and 247 yards per game with about 100 passer rating. So that's a very good season from Carson Wentz, if I do say so myself. Now we're going to check the Eagles to see how Jared Goff did. He actually threw for over 4,000 yards, so he did have more yards than Carson Wentz on the year. 32 touchdowns to 9 interceptions, 68% completion, and 256 yards per game with a 105.1 passer rating. So even though the Rams did do better with Carson Wentz on the team, it seems that Jared Goff had the better year between the two quarterbacks. So that's definitely interesting. I did not expect that. I still expected Carson Wentz to have the better year overall. I mean, his team did make the playoffs and the Eagles didn't, but still, it seems that Jared Goff did have the better year. And before the playoffs, we actually have three upgrades with Carson Wentz, so we're going to use all of those. So we have just did the final upgrade on Carson Wentz, and he has gone from an 87 to a 91 overall after one year of playing with the Los Angeles Rams. That is insane. This guy Carson Wentz is going to be insane in real life. I can't wait to watch him throughout the years and he's already ridiculous on this video game. After one season, he's gone up four overalls. All right, so after upgrading my entire team, all the skill points and everything, the team's actually gone up in overall, which is ridiculous. We're up to an 86 overall. And we are at the divisional round. As I mentioned before, we're going to simulate it and see what happens. Hopefully, they can win and not choke away the first playoff game. They did pull out the win, guys. They won 27-17 to over the Falcons. We're going to check the player stats now. Carson Wentz threw for one touchdown and three picks. He threw three interceptions, but they still got the win. He only threw for 207 yards. What Todd Gurley do? 21 rushes for 157 yards and seven and a half per carry, two touchdowns. Okay, so Todd Gurley saved us that game. Carson Wentz actually didn't do that good. But without further ado, now we are going to get into the conference championship, and that is against the Dallas Cowboys. 
and we do have the game at home. All right, so guys, after checking the news, because it simulated this right to the offseason because we lost, we ended up losing at home in the NFC Championship to the Cowboys 21 to 16. So after year one, we didn't make it to the Super Bowl, but then the Super Bowl was actually the Cowboys against the Chiefs, and the Chiefs completely annihilated the Cowboys by a score of 35 to nothing. That is ridiculous. I feel like if Carson Wentz would have made it to the Super Bowl, he would have put up a better fight than that. 35 to nothing. Wow. All right, now we are jumping into year number two of the switch between Jared Goff and Carson Wentz. You can see that the team is still at about the same. We're at an 84 overall. I think last year in the playoffs, we were an 85 or an 86. So we did downgrade in some positions as the Rams. The Eagles, I checked them. They're sitting at about the same spot as they were last year. So hopefully both teams can make the playoffs this year. I'd love to see them face off. That would be insane. But without further ado, I don't think there's anything else we have to do. We have Carson Wentz at a, sitting at a 90 overall right now going into this year. And I think Todd Gurley is at a 94. That duo is so scary. But without further ado, we are going to jump in and sim the second season and see how it ends up. Hopefully both teams make the playoffs. All right, so guys, we are done with the second season with the switch between Carson Wentz and Jared Goff. And the Rams made the playoffs once again with the exact same record and once again had a first round bye. We're in the divisional round of the playoffs and we're taking on the Washington Redskins. But before we get that started, we are going to go over and see how the Eagles did this year. Once again, the Eagles are not in the divisional round of the playoffs, and that is really surprising. The Cowboys have knocked them out of the out of the playoffs two years in a row, and they didn't even make the wild card round for the second straight year. This is just blowing my mind, dude. Like, I didn't think them having Jared Goff would make this much of a difference. All right, checking the NFC East. They finished with a record of seven and eight and one. That is ridiculous. So they actually finished dead last in the NFC East. We're going to check the stats. Again, Carson Wentz finishes just short of 4,000 total passing yards on the entire year. Finished with a ratio of 29 touchdowns to 9 interceptions on the entire year. 61% completion, 250 yards per game roughly, and a 93.7 passer rating. Now, as we go down to the Eagles, we're going to see Jared Goff's stats, and he is about the same thing as Carson Wentz when you're considering the total passing yards. He finished with just under 4,000. He finished 32 touchdowns to 9 interceptions, 65% completion, 250 yards per game roughly, and a 98 passer rating. So roughly in the second year of the switch, they finished around the exact same for the entire season. These two players are finishing awfully close to each other in every single major statistic that we're looking at. You can see that right now he's an 86 overall, so he's actually performing pretty well for his overall compared to Carson Wentz, who's going to be a 91 now after the player upgrades. But I don't know. Jared Goff's putting up great numbers every single season, but the Eagles are just not doing well as a team. And we do only have one skill point for Carson Wentz this season. We're going to give that to West Coast probably. And he stays at a 91 overall. But still, I mean, having Carson Wentz at a 91 overall just two seasons in, that is remarkable. All right, guys, after upgrading the defense entirely, we move on defense from an 89 to a 91 overall defense. All right, we're going to be jumping into the divisional round against the Washington Redskins. We're going to simulate yet again. I'm really hoping they don't choke it away in the beginning. That would really suck. Oh my god. We do get past the divisional round of the playoffs. We do knock off the Redskins by a touchdown, 24-17. to You can see that in the top left corner. And now, it's a rematch. We are taking on the Dallas Cowboys yet again for the second straight year in the conference championship. And yet again, it is at home in LA. I gotta jump into this game. What, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play moments in the conference championship. Because I also just want to see Jared... Not Jared Goff. I also really want to see Carson Wentz in a Rams uniform, see how this team works, and I'm going to be playing some of the big moments. Maybe I'll be simming by most of them, but I just want to see how it looks, and I want to try and get this team to the Super Bowl. I want to see Carson Wentz and Todd Gurley on the Rams in the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl could even be a rematch. I mean, that is if the Cowboys get past us, but the AFC Championship consists of the Miami Dolphins, and the Kansas City Chiefs. What is going on? All right, we're jumping in on a third and two right now with the Rams offense. Each team has got a possession so far, I'm pretty sure. But there he is, Carson Wentz in a... in Sorry, not St. Louis, in an L.A. Rams uniform. It just still looks so weird. Todd Gurley, wow, I ran right into that block. But this team is probably so much fun to play with, it's ridiculous. 
All right, second and goal. We got to hold him here. If we do hold him, it'd be insane to keep this to a 3-3 three to three game at halftime. Pick that off. Dog. That was a pick waiting to happen. Dak Prescott was literally handing us an interception right there with that. That was... Oh, my God. Get him. That's what I like. It's a fumble. Oh, my God. Donald, what are you doing? All right, it's third quarter right now. It's still a really low-scoring game, just 3-3. Three to three. I'm going to run it with Todd Gurley here. Pass doesn't look very good right now, but 3-3 three to three in the third quarter. This is so low-scoring, and Todd Gurley doesn't get it. I'm going for it. I can't go for it. All right, so it actually threw me back out on the field. Fourth and one right now. Dude, I, you guys see what I see? Hot route, Brandon Cooks. Send him deep. Dog, this is a touchdown! Touchdown, Brandon Cooks. Let's go! I saw that from the very beginning. There wasn't anyone on him. Audible real quick. Send him on a deep fade to the end zone. We got the lead in the NFC Championship halfway through the third. Wow, that was very close. I almost got sacked too. That would have been awful. The rematch of the NFC Championship is just crazy right now. There's three minutes exactly left in the game. The Cowboys are marching down the field. We need to hold them. There's Zeke wide open. Oh my god, he's busting ankles this entire game. Third and ten. Biggest play of the game so far. Biggest play of the entire season. Aaron Donald break through the line! Oh my god. Alright, second and two. We need a pick. If we get a pick! Pick! Oh my god, Navarro Bowman! Oh my god, he just sent the Rams to the Super Bowl. Let's go. Oh my god. All right, Dak gets a second chance apparently. A minute 19 left. They have to go 73 yards to tie the game and send it to overtime. Can he do it? Get him, get him, get him. Get him on the ground. Get him. All right, he's inbounds. He's inbounds. Perfect. That's what we need. All right, the Kansas City Chiefs are waiting for the second year in a row in the Super Bowl. They're waiting for us to play them. We need to pull out this win as soon as we can. Another interception by Dak Prescott. Oh, my God. He choked it. He got a second chance. He still couldn't do it. And that is all she wrote. The rematch for the second year in a row in the NFC Championship ends a different way this year. Carson Wentz and the Rams are going to the Super Bowl, knocking off the Cowboys in the second year of the same NFC Championship. All right, guys. After the NFC Championship thriller rematch between the Rams and the Cowboys, the Rams led by Carson Wentz advance, and we are taking on the Chiefs, who have made it to the Super Bowl for the second straight year. But without further ado, we are going to jump in to the Super Bowl and show you guys. Hopefully, we can get Carson Wentz and the Rams a Super Bowl victory. All right, guys. It all comes down to this. The Super Bowl. You know, actually, this is in Miami, too. So, if the Dolphins somehow would have pulled out that win against the Chiefs and made it to the Super Bowl with a 7-9 and nine record... They would have had a home Super Bowl. That would have been something else. All right, very, very good start so far. We're marching down the field on the Chiefs, so to say. Got an open middle. Carson Wentz running the football, not afraid to run it at all. 20-yard gain. All right, we're already at the 20-yard line. If we can strike first and get the lead early in the Super Bowl, that would be huge. All right, we're dropping back. I see Cooks. Cooks is open at the bottom. He's got room to run. He's got the speed. He does not make it in, though. He got rocked. All right, so now we're at third and goal already. If we don't score a touchdown here after being at the three-yard line, I'm going to be really upset. Carson Wentz going to take it up the middle, run it in with ease, and that is the first score of the game, and we have the lead early on in the Super Bowl. All right, so the Chiefs did strike back, but I'm getting thrown into the situation at the 14-yard line. So I don't know what we did on offense, but Carson Wentz led this team down with ease. I see Cooks again with the hurdle. Oh, my goodness. All right, it's third and goal just like that. We're going to try and punch it in, but I don't want to push anything. I definitely don't want to throw a pick. I'm going to run off the middle with Carson. Wow. 
All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do here. I see you. Cup with the hurdle. Oh my god, dude. The hurdle is broken this game. <laughs> All right, I basically have one shot at the end zone. And if, if I don't get it into the end zone, I'm not going to throw it because obviously there's only, 20 se there's only 20 seconds left. So I see you. That's a touchdown. Everett. Carson Wentz to Everett. We're up 14 to 7 right before the half. Beautiful toss. I saw that right away. Perfect. All right, I can honestly say that I am blessed to have the best defense in the NFL. Don't forget about that 91 overall defense because they held the Chiefs again, and now we're inside the 18 just like that. Should have caught that. We're now on to the fourth quarter. I didn't even realize that, but the Chiefs defense is probably pretty good too now that I think about it because I am having a lot of trouble trying to get it in. I see a wide open... Robert Woods for the touchdown. 21 to 7, just like that. I think this game is out of reach. I think Carson Wentz is taking home that Lombardi trophy to Los Angeles. What a pass, dude. Oh my god. Talk about threading the needle. All right, guys. The Chiefs marched down the field and struck on the board. So now it's 21 to 14, just like that, with three minutes left in the game. I'm going to try and break it out with Todd Gurley. Nothing much. All right, the Chiefs are down to their final timeout. Just run the ball up the middle with Todd Gurley. I am absolutely loving using Todd Gurley. He is such a beast, and the Chiefs have just used their final timeout. That is definitely all she wrote, guys. All we have to do is run out the clock, and Todd Gurley is breaking it to the outside. 43-yard touchdown. Todd Gurley put the game to rest unbelievable the la rams led by carson wentz and todd Gurley, are going to be taking home the super bowl all right so guys the chiefs actually did march down the field and scored one last time but it doesn't matter we recovered the onside kick so the la rams led by carson wentz are the super bowl champions unbelievable i really thought that this team could do it i thought they could do it back to back years but i'll take the one year i'm not gonna complain so here it is guys this is the full-on switch in action carson wentz for jared goff carson wentz being on the rams jared goff going to the eagles you can see that the eagles didn't make it either of their two seasons to the playoffs for that matter jared goff still did good but carson wentz switches over to the la rams and he takes a championship trophy home to the city of Los Angeles. Unbelievable, guys. What a simulation. We finish off by winning the Super Bowl with the LA Rams, led by Carson Wentz. I honestly don't think it could have finished a better way. So I think that's going to mark the end of this What If Simulation on Madden 19 franchise mode. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. It really does help me out tremendously, especially when I see your guys' support. It just makes me want to make more videos for you guys. Also, make sure to comment down below what you would want to see in the future for What If Simulations. Leave, leave your ideas in the comments i would love to see them all also if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to never miss another madden 19 video in the near future again i want to thank you guys for watching one last time and i will see you in the next video